Welcome back to Nico Knows Tech. I'm, of course, Nico. So, you have a drive. It's no longer working. It's dead. It's corrupted. Whatever, okay? This could happen if you uh, just yanked it out or you installed some Linux distros and then you wanted to do something else with it, but it's just not working anymore. <clears throat> well, you can restore these back to factory settings, and I'm going to show you how. Okay? First, we're going to plug in our drive, and it's already plugged in for me. And we're going to open up an elevated command prompt. The way we do this, so we can go to the search here, or you can do, you know, command R, and then we're going to run it as administrator. Okay, and the command we're going to run is disk part, all one word. Okay, this is going to be the, the disk partition tool. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to type list space disk. All right, now we're showing two disks here. <clears throat> disk zero is my hard disk. I can know, as, know it's my hard disk because it's the first one. Secondly, I can see that it's two terabytes. Be very careful because there could be three, four drives here. If you have two hard drives, two solid state drives, or maybe another flash drive in there, you don't want to delete. Well, I know this 32 gig flash drive is disk one. I can check. I can see that it's 28 gigs here. Okay, so now we have to select it. Select disk one. Make sure that you get the right one. Now it's selected. I'm going to list disk just to be careful. I see the asterisk here on the side next to disk 1, 32 gigs. It's not my hard drive. So I know I have the right one. Now let's clean all the partitions off. Clean. Now if I do clean all, it's going to really wipe it. You'd want to do that if you need to do a secure wipe or if you're trying to load this um, onto BSD as a volume or uh, <clears throat> like at certain NAS systems um, where the, the first and last parts um, of the uh, of the partition need to be completely wiped but that will take up to an hour sometimes so we're just going to do clean to kill all the partitions okay now we've cleaned it but now we have to create a primary partition create partition primary which is where we're going to save all our files Enter. We've created the partition, but we can't save anything yet to it, so we need to actually format it. We're going to format space fs for file system equals, and for this size of drive, we'll go with exfat. You can go with FAT32, and that'll work with everybody. Exfat for fast drives, NTFS, you know, if you wanted to make like something that you're going to use exclusively with Windows. We're going to go exfat. Now, if I just hit enter here, this is going to be a low-level format, which is going to wipe all the data, but, you know, it, it, we're going to overwrite it anyway. We don't want to spend an hour formatting the drive. So we're going to do a quick format. So space, quick, enter, done. Now my heart, my uh, antivirus is scanning it because it's a new drive, and our new USB drive is right here. You won't see this because I have hidden files shown and everything, but this is an empty drive. It's now working. That's how you restore a USB drive back to factory settings. Hey, and if you'd like to uh, to um, to support us on Patreon, the link's in the description. It really helps the channel. Also, I put my Discord link in there. We're helping a lot of people there, and we're even doing like live virus cleanings. Um, you can go in there and tell me your problems, if you have trouble with Tron or all these things, have questions. And... Um, just today, um, remoted into some people's machines for them and fix viruses and, and issues uh, manually. Uh, we're there to help. We got experts there, moderators, um, and we'd love to see you. So definitely help us out. And don't forget, subscribe. We're almost there, folks. I know we can do it, and we're here to help you. Have a good one.